I cannot believe over the past couple of weeks how much these blackberries have grown. I've shown before, this is four foot by four foot wide and it goes well over there and it comes around and wraps all the way around. So this part right here is over eight foot long and then it comes all the way through and branches off into all of these branches, comes down here and goes all the way right there. I mean, you're talking about how it's easily 12 foot long and then it's continuing to branch out everywhere. And it's amazing. I did notice, and I made a video a couple weeks ago because I noticed that blackberries were forming on both the old growth and the new growth. And I was confused because I had always thought before I started growing blackberries for myself that you had to cut off all the all the growth after it produced berries because it it didn't produce after the second year that the first year growth just shot off and created green growth and then on the second year those growths flowered but it turns out that there are berries that produce that are prima cane berries and that means that they produce berries on both the one-year-old and the two-year-old growth. Now, everything you're seeing here, because I cut my berries all the way back during winter after it got cold, is this year's growth. This is all this year's growth producing berries, which means after this is finished growing, and this is a lot of growth. I mean, this is pretty intense. And this is just one bed and one side of it. It doesn't show everything else that's growing. So this will produce berries this fall and it's already producing, which is really cool because these actually produce during spring and fall. So you get two crops a year and they're a thornless variety, which is also really cool. So there's one of the berries, it's pretty good size. And here's one of the flowers right here producing. And so all this is this year's growth. And realistically, all this is the growth that's happened since it's cooled down um, towards the end of August and September. It's been cooler and we've had more rain than we have in three months. And it's making a massive difference. The really cool thing is I'm getting berries right now and come spring, all this growth will become hard and woody, but it will still produce crops and all the new growth will also produce a crop. So if you're looking at this, you're talking about a pretty intense um, amount of canes that are going to crop and produce fruit, not including the new growth from le next year that will also produce fruit in both spring and fall. So it it's incredible just how much these plants produce and grow. And I know some of you have been growing for a while and dealing with different strains of blackberry for a while. So you're not surprised that there are prima cane varieties and that they produce on both this year's growth and next year's and last year's growth and that they produce two crops a year. I am. I'm fairly new to growing um, blackberries and so I had no idea and it's really cool to see that you can get so much production from a perennial and and not have to worry about replanting every single year and knowing that this is gonna pr continue to produce fruit at least for the next decade for my family. It's pretty exciting. And so whenever these canes do reach their second year and finish producing, they'll pr die back on their own, but I'll go ahead and come in here and just clip them off at the base and that's it. And they'll continue to grow and produce as long as I keep them fertilized and watered and it's just really cool to know that something can just keep producing year after year plant once buy it once and have it for years to come and these are also producing some runners through the bottom so they're sending up shoots all of this right here is a plant that came from my original plant last year it kind of came over here and started producing on its own and also, I have cut off at the bottom with a small amount of root system and planted elsewhere. And that's when they kind of take off and grow. So you can propagate your own plants based off of what you have already and produce new growth and new plants if you want to space it out. That's how this plant here was produced. 
I cut it off from another plant with a small amount of root system. I planted it and watered it well, and it took off. And I mean, it's just amazing how fast these are growing. This is wrapped around all the way around up here. It goes all the way across and comes back down. So I'm going to end up needing a stronger trellis because the weight that's on this little four, four foot tall fencing panel, it's just, it's just too much for it. I'm probably going to have to look into getting a cattle panel or something that's much more sturdy. I did not expect this type of growth. I was when I bought these plants, the tag on them said they would get four foot tall by four foot wide. And these are massive. They're easily just the parts that do stand up on their own. They're over 5'5". Five five. I'm almost 5'5". Five five. They tower over me. And the other parts, I mean, you're talking about 12 foot plus long canes branching off of this. It's pretty intense. And also because there's so much room underneath i'm able to put things like beans underneath that the summer sun is just still way too intense for and it kind of protects them now the soil's dry because i haven't watered i'm gonna do that after i complete this video but it really does offer a lot of protection for other crops and i can even start some beet crops and everything else underneath these so that when these finally start to rest for the winter I'll have I'll be able to use all this open area underneath them and that's a really cool feeling to be able to use so much space so if you're like me and you're just kind of starting off on blackberries um this is the Arkansas Traveler blackberry it's one of my favorites it's completely thornless which makes it easy for children and pets you don't have to worry about anyone getting snagged by thorns and as bushy as it grows you don't have to worry about reaching down here and getting your arm um, poked or drawing blood from any unwanted thorns that may be in there. So this is a really family friendly variety and I absolutely adore it. So if anyone else is wondering exactly what a Prima Cane variety is and want something that'll produce fruit multiple times a year and from this year's growth and the previous year's growth, this is definitely the variety for you. Now, I do live in Southeast Texas, so I will say that we have a much longer growing season. We're gonna get a lot more growth than some people are, which means we have a higher chance of getting a second crop of berries. If you're up north and you're in an area where it's already getting colder, you probably won't get that second crop that we get. So if you're looking into getting into blackberries you want a thornless variety something that's going to produce a crop and if you're in southern climate a bumper crop and it's going to give you the most for the work that you put in i highly recommend this variety i will i have eight of them right now i will be planting more in the future and i cannot wait to see what next year brings as far as fruiting <laughs> 